In this video, I'm going to go over how I got this effect by using uh, some masks and adjusting the dot size in Stipple. Uh, I used the same effect on this image with a pretty tight dot pattern and on this it's a little bit more complicated with this one uh, same as this one um, and this is a, an example with a with a larger dot size uh, we'll be using patterns like this and uh, I'm not gonna make I'll figure out a way if you send me a message I'll definitely get you a, a link to these dot patterns so you can use them all right, I'm going to open up Stipple. I'm going to use this uh, image from Reservoir Dogs of Nice Guy Eddie. I'll just leave everything at, at default. We're going to switch it once we get started. Uh, okay, so first of all, if this is your first, uh, this is not a good place to start. I'm going to assume that you know something about masks. Um, so I'm going to go to the mask layer. I will load, I'm going to load this uh, big dot pattern right here. So it's, a, it's like a polka dot pattern. Um, so now by default we have pretty small dots and if we tried to draw on this it would just kind of look like we had it would just kind of look like we were drawing normally it would look like we we're making a normal stipple drawing it was just coming through these big holes and, it, and the effect really isn't that great to look at But what's more interesting to do is to try to match the dot size, uh, to try to match your dot size in the dot size settings to your, uh, to the dots in the mask itself. So then only one dot gets through. And uh, you'll see when you do this, not many dots come out. So what's uh, what makes it easier is if you increase the density and then you'll see more dots are coming out. But still, since this mask that we're using, the dot pattern is so, uh, the dots are so big and so spread out, we're not really gonna get that great of a drawing anyway. Uh, so what's more interesting is if you, so say I, I shrunk this dot pattern down. And you'd see that when I went to draw dots, nothing would come out. And this is the tricky part is that you, is that if the dots are too big, they're not gonna, they're not gonna fit through these holes, so to speak. Um, not to go into too much detail, but basically Stipple's throwing a dot out and since uh, that dot doesn't meet the qualifications of the mask layer, uh, it just gets cut out. So you have to make your your dot size smaller and even then it's, it's not working. So you just keep making it smaller until you get something that works and we'll draw on this a little bit. But still, since this dot, since this dot pattern is so uh, sparse with dots, uh, we're not really going to get anything that interesting. So I'm going to try it with a with a different dot mask, because that's when the effect gets more. Uh, it looks more like a picture and in fact it actually uh, the original idea behind this was to get more of a traditional stipple effect which would be more uh, more space in between the dots uh, I think this is a good one yeah okay this is a good one 
All right, so you'll see that with the dot size that we we're just trying to use again, it does nothing comes through. But another trick you can use is in the mask palette itself to turn this slider down, and then you'll see that eventually we'll get more dots to come out. But what we should do is maybe turn the dot size down a little bit. There we go. Now we're getting something good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and adjust. Now everything's good. So now you see we're getting dots to come out. And, and instead of the usual, uh, just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to shut the mask up. The usual dots, which are filling densely and randomly now with this effect it's constraining the dot pattern to the mask so now we can use all the same traditional uh, stipple effects whereas if we picked like say a gray background and then we picked a white dot and then we flipped our uh, our level around and I think this creates a pretty cool pretty cool drawing it's a little different than the uh, than the typical stipple effect so to go a step further um, can't see the thumbnail that well on this uh, and I've got a lot of images that look exactly the same let's try this one right here so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna load nice guy Eddie into my color map and shut off my draw image so now um, now I'll just be drawing the image and if the dots are too small you kind of just paint it on and, it, and this ends up just kind of looking like a like a traditional Photoshop mask or something because we draw almost photographic dots but what's more interesting again is if we try to match our dot size to the dot pattern uh, in the mask so only one dot comes out And again, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my threshold up this time to get a, a more discriminating there we go. So now we just have like single dots coming through. Maybe a little bit more, but it creates kind of a neat effect. And I won't, uh, what I ended up doing for, we can go back to the uh, example images. Let's take a look at this one. So this is three different images, and you'll see that there's like this light blue, there's a light green in here, and there's a light yellow. So this was three different images. And I used that wavy dot pattern. Uh, I used a more sparse one that had less lines. Um, and, the, and I can make that available to you guys. Uh, so I would, I would load one image in the source image. I would have the line pattern on it. I would draw it. And then I would move that line pattern over a little bit. I'd load a different source image in. And I'd draw that. And I would uh, then load the last, the third image in. Move the dot pattern over again and draw that. Um, basically utilizing the extra space within the dots to, to put three images in. I mean, this is silly. Uh, I mean, it's just a visual experiment. Um, I, I don't know if anybody really wants to try that at home. Uh, this one's a little cooler. Uh, I did the same thing that I just said, but used one source image and I kept moving the mask over just a little bit. So I drew it once in black. I flipped over, drew it in white after moving the uh, mask a little bit. Moved the mask again and drew it once in color. Um, this one just used a tight dot mask, drew it black and white. This one is probably the best one so far. Uh, it just by chance, 
the uh, the pattern itself kind of matches the contours of the face. Actually, that one that one's really pretty cool. This one I used. Uh, I don't I don't have the the mask I used handy, but this was kind of just a a packed grid of dots around or like a couple of rotations and mirrors and stuff. Pretty big dot pattern. Um, and then I just drew over a, a skull. You know, you know me. Um, that should at least get you started with this effect if you want to try it. I really think that, uh, like, this one's really cool. The one that I did in the video. Because I really think it has a, a more traditional, especially, like, around the eye, a more traditional stippled look to it. Anyway definitely rambled long enough in this video uh if you have any questions just let me know uh i could even redo this video and make it better um thanks a lot for watching thanks a lot for using stubble